magic. And to the superstars of magic, Siegfried and Roy, with the exotic Lido de Paris. All hosted by the celebrated Mr. Eddie Albert. With special guest star, Lonnie Anderson. And special guest appearance by Lola Bolana. Ladies and gentlemen, the world famous Lido de Paris. Thank you. Thank you very much. What can I say? Uh, magic seems to be the only word for all of this. If I didn't know that I was at the Stardust Hotel in Las Vegas, I'd swear I was at the Lido de Paris in Paris. It's no wonder that the name Lido has always meant excellence in entertainment extravaganzas. Now, you might think that anyone who's been a seasoned worker in the Hollywood Dream Factory would get a little blasé about all these lavish productions. No, no. Inside me, there's a little child who is forever dazzled by all this wizardry, uh, which brings us to the stars of our show. They're more than magicians. They're miracle workers. For everything that you and I and this audience see tonight is done without camera tricks, no hocus pocus. Even Hollywood, with all its elaborate deceptions, can't match the authentic wizardry of Siegfried and Roy, the superstars of magic.
the first lady of Las Vegas, Miss Lola Falana. Defying Siegfried and Roth. All I can say is that your performance with the flamingos held everybody spellbound. From an artist of your magnitude, this is quite a compliment, you know. My magnitude? I can't even get my parakeet to talk. <laughs> Well, Eddie, if you would have mystical power, you would be surprised what you could do. Mystical powers? You mean, you don't do this with mirrors? Well, we do must confess, sometimes we do use mirrors. Now that you know our secrets, why we don't show you the rest of it. <clears throat> Eddie, please, would you picture something very, very beautiful in your mind? Something very beautiful in my mind. Yes. Oh, oh. Yes, yes. Very beautiful. Good. Now concentrate deeply. I'm concentrating. Concentrate. Eddie, you have to block everything, but everything out of your mind. I'm blocking. So we can see the message clearly. I'm getting the message. I'm getting the message. It's taking shape. Look, Eddie. Look. Isn't it beautiful? Is that what you wish for? Well, that's only the illusion of a beautiful woman. Well? Couldn't you make it a reality? Well, keep the faith, Eddie, keep the faith. In magic, anything is possible. But you must be more concentrated. Ooh, ooh, yes, yes, sorry. Deeply. Yes. Strong. Yes. So you get the picture. Yes, yes. Concentrate on a beautiful lady. And we will make your wish come true. Our special guest star, the lovely Miss Lani Anderson. <laughs> said was, before I come out, I'd like to see myself in a mirror. Did you have to take me so literally? Lonnie, you should never have gotten involved with magicians. After all, we deal in mystifying illusions. Mm -hmm. Things they are not what they appear to be. 
could you use the mirror to make a handsome prince appear instead of my having to kiss a frog? <laughs> well, the mirror has given us one American beauty. We will now show you another American beauty. Well, this one takes special precaution and it takes a special call. Now, for this one, you have to have patience, will you? Okay. I sing bad, I whistle bad, but now I have to whistle. behind the mirror. We cover the bird. All right. That's all right. That was some exit the eagle made, huh? And that was some entrance you made. You're no more amazed than I am. I felt sort of like Alice coming through the looking glass. Well, if Alice looked anything like you, it's no wonder the Mad Hatter went mad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. I'm flattered. I'll be up all night trying to figure out how they perform these miracles. Well, even more amazing to me is the fact that Siegfried and Roy performed them without the aid of any camera tricks. Or even a magic wand. Mm -hmm. No, but they seem to have cast a spell over those tigers up there. Oh, yeah. Siegfried and Roy hath charms to calm the savage beasts. I don't know why I'm surprised. This evening has been filled with nothing but surprises. And it's not about to end. Uh, you'll be astonished at this next astounding feat of magic which Siegfried and Roy call the phenomenon of metamorphosis. <laughs>
yesterday's boulevards of Paris with the gentlemen and ladies of the Lido de Paris. passengers you see are left jazz. They're especially crossbred by Siegfried and Roy, and they combine the beauty and the sleekness of the leopard with the power and the speed and agility of the jaguar. I'm fascinated by how Siegfried and Roy handle these wild animals without resorting to the conventional whip and chair. So what we are about to do, we had to construct three solid walls, a platform strong enough to raise a three-ton elephant four feet above the stage.
I just can't get over that last illusion. Was I seeing things, or did three tons of elephant just disappear into thin air? Well, if you were seeing things, both myself and the entire audience saw it with you. One trick is more mind-boggling than the next. I can't imagine how they do it. Can you? Oh, I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to stand here amazed like everyone else. Our two friends still up there? <laughs> They're two Siberian tigers, and the right is magic, and the left is Ashra. Oh. You know, sometimes people come up to me and say, Siegfried and Roy, how did you become a magician? How it is possible? Well, I have to tell you a little story about this. About 18 years ago, Roy and myself, we started out in show business, and we started out with a minor reading act. Roy was sit down on a chair. I cover him with a tablecloth. And if you have your identification with you, your IDs... Okay. Okay. Just hold it. <laughs> Liberace, eat your heart out. <laughs> Roy, I just explained to the audience about the minor reading act. What else do you need? Your driver license, your passport, your master charge, or if it's someone real nice and pretty, the number of your room key. Or even the number of your room key. Just hold him up in your hands just like this. Your driver's license, master charge, anything what identifies yourself. Roy, please sit down. <laughs> now what we get here? Now do I speak too fast for you? Come on now, hold it up. What's over here? Nothing? All right. The young lady over here? All right. Would you stand up for me, please? All right. What do you have you in your hand, young lady? Your driver's license. Oh, that's a tough one. Right, right in front of mine, I have a young lady. She's holding up your driver's license. Would you call up the number of your driver's license loud and clear for us, please? Loud and clear the number of your driver's license. No? Loud? No? Oh, well, he didn't know it 18 years ago, and he still don't know it. Come <laughs> well, uh, Come on, stop. Roy, stop playing games with me. You're supposed to disappear completely, you know that. Now you know I hate to doing things halfway. Please go back. <laughs> now, Timpani, now all the way, Roy. You're gonna disappear all the way. Drum roll, please. All right. Okay. changed. I think the young lady over here, she put the hex on you. What do you think of her? <laughs> now say hello to the audience. <laughs> Loud and clear and a friendly good evening.
the stage with the City of Lights. Siegfried and Roy's crowning achievement. This illusion won them the much deserved title, the Superstars of Magic.
It looks like that master illusionist Father Time has made the hour disappear before we knew it. Before we say good night, we would like to say thanks to you, Eddie. Oh. <laughs> to the entire company of the leader de Paris. And of course, to our friend, Miss Lola Falana.